Hello and welcome. I'm Eric, half of the engineers of Van Life, and today we are reviewing and taking a look at the Blue Technology MRX Plus off grid water filtration system. This water filter allows you to take water from any unpressurized source, lake, stream, and pump it and filter it into your camper van or RV's fresh water tank. So, really awesome for helping you stay off grid for longer. So, we've been at this spot for four days now been going through water like crazy, showering, drinking, we got a new puppy. So we're gonna refill our tank. So if you open this thing up, you can use this thing in this nifty carrying case. But for the video and demonstration so you can see what's going on, I'm gonna take it out. So what we have are two water filters and a 12 volt water pump in between. So this pump is gonna draw water from one side, pump it through a tasty filter, and a safety filter. The tasty filter is, yep, this one here. Hey, Juniper. Activated carbon and coconut husk filter. It'll kind of remove a lot of the odors uh, and smells, some chlorine that you may find in your water from uh, being hooked up to camp water. Then we have our safety filter. This is a 0.2 micron particulate filter that's going to filter out all sorts of things like heavy metals, lead, cadmium, iron, it's gonna get rid of uh, bacteria and viruses, Giardia, there's a lot of beavers around here, Cryptosporidium, E. coli, cysts, Legionella, and others. What I like about this is it's actually really easy to use. They have stainless steel, quick disconnects, and they include little hoses for you. So what we're gonna do is the end with the buoy and the little pre-filter. We're going to drop into our water source, hook it up, and then the end we want to hook up to our tank. We're going to hook up to our water tank and the other end to the filter. Now this does need power and you can provide power one of two ways. We have a 12 volt socket in inside that we can just hardwire it to. Or it also has a 12 volt battery, one of those uh, three amp hour Milwaukee style branded ones, uh, which will pump, I forget, 50 gallons, 100 gallons more than you need uh, for at least one fill. Anyways, that's all you have to do to set it up again. That You can keep it all in this carrying case for the hookups and just attach your hose outlets there. Both of the filters are replaceable, so you just get a little filter canister wrench, unscrew, and pop your replacement filter in. Any type of RV or camper where you feel like you're limited by water and you can sit in one spot for longer than your water tank will last. We also use this a lot in Colorado all through the winter when all of the potable water sources, the spigots, were shut off because they were all frozen for the winter. So we would just go down to the, you know, go down to the river, bring up a bucket and pump it into the tank. Which brings me to my final point before I actually start pumping is, I know y'all have this dream of like driving right down to the river, dropping the, the hose in and pumping straight out of the river. Great idea in theory. In practice, we found it's hard to ever actually get that close to the river. I mean, we have maybe 10 feet of hose length they do make a longer, you know, 25 foot hose like this. And we could rig up an extension for our little 25 foot hose. But where we are now, we're pretty close to the river. And I think that we would still be limited by hose length. And a lot of times we're just a little bit further than that. So we like to just carry our water up and pump it in five gallons at a time. So let's see how fast this pumps. This is almost full. I have the first bucket almost full, maybe four and a half gallons. So we're gonna set a timer and see how fast it takes to pump. I can hear it filling. Now, one thing I wanna say is that Mobile Must Have doesn't give an official flow rate for this pump. It depends on the turbidity of the water, how clogged your, uh, your filters might be. We haven't replaced these filters in a couple months. They say they last two to four months, depending on the turbidity of water. Not exactly sure what that means. Just keep an eye on them. It's open 
easy enough to open open them up, inspect, and if you ever see like a ridiculously low flow rate, that's just your sign to open them up and change filters. But in general, we've found between one and two gallons, maybe two gallons a minute is what we, we find, you know, empty a five gallon bucket in two to three minutes, but we'll see what we're pulling here today. One last caveat is this thing was designed to only pull from an unpressurized system, but Mobile Must Have did a lot of testing on this with actually a pressurized system. If you just have like a, a hookup at a campground, you have water and you just want to filter it yourself, you know, it's got that chlorine taste or some odor to it, you don't know where you are. Uh, you can, you can, they tested this and you can hook it up to a pressurized system and they were pressurized at 60 PSI. They filtered 2000 gallons through it, no problem. So mobile must have says that you can hook it up to a pressurized system and it will, you know, flow through without damage to the system. Uh, again, they tested at 60 PSI. So we're a little more than halfway through. This is a self priming pump. So it will, you know, suck that first little bit of air through your system just fine before it's actually pushing water. We haven't had any issues with, with it burning up because of the first little bit of air. I'm gonna make sure I got every bit of this four and a half gallons. Just like that. Now we're gonna do that about five more times today, I think. So I don't know if you can see, but our overflow valve is leaking, which means we're full. So we're just gonna shut that off. Our water tank was more empty than I thought. So we put close to 30 gallons in our tank, in our 32 gallon tank. So we were much closer to empty than I thought. But as far as disassembly goes, disconnect from your water tank. Empty hose number one. Coil it up. Quick disconnect number two. Coil it up. And I usually like to drain a little bit of the water out of each of the filters. They tend to slosh around when the van moves and get a little water build up in the, uh, in the carrying case. But other than that, this is the Boot Technology MRX Plus two-stage water filtration system for off-grid off -grid pumping. If you like short instructional content like this, we're just starting to make it. I want to do more of it, so drop a comment down below what you liked, what you didn't, what you want to see more of, and I will get right on it. Again, Eric from the Engineers of Van Life, out. <laughs>